BDL has been up and running for 9 years. Throughout this time, the game's direction has changed and many concepts have not been brought into fruition. A byproduct of this cancelled content are unused areas. In this video, I will go over some hidden and unused areas in Black Desert Online. To the south of Hyrule, we see the Bloody Monastery, an area that has been taken over by cultists, prominent Nodor spot, and the summoning spot of the now weakly removed boss, Mustin. Furthermore, we can see this area represented in the unreleased prequel game of Crimson Desert, as shown in the trailers. However, south of the monastery itself, in the mountain, there are ominous red doors that actually release to an unreleased area. Unfortunately, most of this area has been closed off by Pearl Abyss with the Magnus Patch of 2022 due to sections being used for the Magnus Quest. I tried to enter the area myself using various techniques, however I would get teleported out right away when trying to enter it. PA also added a mound of sand, further blocking the entrance. However, old recordings still exist of the unreleased rooms, and not all of them were used in the Magnus Quest, so there's something new to see. So it's anyone's guess what these rooms would be used for. However, my theory is it could have been an early dungeon concept with the throne as a staging ground for the boss. However, we will never know. Blish is a small town south of Haido. It's a quaint town in the middle of a swamp and its sister town east is where the guild boss Mudster swamped. However, underground through the doors shows a hidden area. Now we know about the basement, seeing a chemist via tree, some fogans, muskins in a cell, and we can see a boarded up area beside a dead fogan. Now inside this boarded up area, we could sneak our way inside and we see multiple rooms. We could interact with some items here, however they don't drop anything, and we also see a one way skylight on the roof, as well as seeing a connected mine shaft that abruptly ends. From the dead fogan outside, my guess was this was some sort of quest area to kill Fogans that took over this side of the basement, with the mine maybe leading somewhere outside, but for some reason or another, it was scrapped. Phenol Cabin Mineshaft Phenol Cabin is a quaint little hideaway south of Calpheon. If we go a little north from the cabin itself, we can see an open cave area. At the back of this area, we see a closed off mine shaft. It has the appearance of a bunch of dirt that was dumped into the entrance doorway. Through this dirt, we can have a peek inside as it doesn't close off everything. Using some creative methods, we could get inside the cave. The cave itself is very big. It's a massive area. There's also an interesting effect of water in the cave having a swim where there is no water located. There is also no breath bar in this dislocated water. The area is relatively detailed as there is various props placed around the cave, signaling that this area was maybe made further into the development cycle.
Eventually, we see this uneasy sight of hanged people. This does actually give us a hint at what this place may have been, as it could have been a planned boss area of some kind, or a questing area related to Hexy Sanctuary. I managed to get an overhead view and normal view of the area, as well as cementing how big the area actually is. The Hollow Voltara Mountains. These mountains were once a barrier between the playable area and Camiselvia before it was released. Now they stand as a border between the regions of Camiselvia and Calfion. However, these mountains are not solid. Inside reveals a massive unfinished cave network. The entrance to this cave network is at the end of the Cyclops Land River. Using various means to get in, we can see this huge cave system that is relatively unfinished. The cave system actually connects with the Creelville cave system. The Creelville caves were also once sealed off, however Parallel Abyss used them for the adventure logs. Maybe one day these big cave systems will be used for something more. In the conjunction area connecting to Creelville caves, we also see a, another area of the cave that is locked off. So after getting inside this area, it seems it just connects with the Creelville Caves again, not showing anything too special. The South Calia Mountains Underground. There is no node called South Calia Mountains, however the area is called South Calia Mountains. Inside these mountains is a massive cave system that spans multiple levels. We can actually see inside using a free camp at this weird rock thing. There is a little hole for light inside. I was also able to glitch my way inside so I could explore the area. Although. I would get stuck at points when exploring, with only certain movement skills letting me move forward or to the side. With all these abandoned caves, maybe BDO had some kind of mining content in mind? However, we will never really know. Maybe these caves will be used as some sort of Magnus Part 2 or some future content or quest line. The Bandit's Den Byway Cave 
This area is a cave at the end of a road before a bridge, right above Baragi Den. The cave has nothing really inside. However, it's called Bandit's Den, so maybe it was a Bandit's Den at one point. I talked to an old player and they mentioned it was used for a quest with water inside, however, I could not find any proof of the statement. PA again closed off an area that was unused with just a big rock in the entrance. I created this list of areas I could actually get into. There are more areas, however, they are not accessible at this time, or I felt they weren't as interesting. Hey everyone, so thanks for watching. I'd first like to thank Ceres or Red Soul for bringing these hidden areas with the Reddit posts to my attention, as I would have never found them in the first place. I'd also like to thank my friends Sunrise and Toxic for helping me sneak into the areas to get most of the footage for this video. So yeah, that's it. If you liked the video, leave a comment on any future content you want, or maybe there's some areas I missed. I know I was just doing a light overview. And yeah, see you next time.